let's reset your Gmail password without the phone number. Now, if you don't necessarily have access to the phone number that is linked to your Gmail account, you can always still reset and recover that account. I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, on any device, an iPhone or Android or a computer, it doesn't really matter because we're just going to open up a web browser here. And on here, we can just go to gmail.com. Now, if you're not already logged into your account, it will pop up with a screen that looks like this. It says sign in to continue to Gmail. Now, it says enter the email or phone number of the account that you're trying to log into. Now, on here, let's say we don't have access to that phone number. So, of course, we don't want to use that phone number. We're going to use instead the email address. So let me enter that in. And I will hit next. Now, after doing that, let's say I don't want to use the face ID and they need to confirm that they know who it is and to enter your password. So let's hit try another way. And it says you can either use your pass key or enter your password. So if you know the pass key for your account, you can just use that or you could enter in the password. But you can also just tap on get help here. So it will walk you through some options, even if you don't have access to the phone number or that other phone that it is linked to. You can see on here, it says, do you have your phone? So it might be your, it might be on your computer and it might be asking you basically to go to your phone that has already access to that Gmail. Maybe you're logged into your YouTube account or something like that on that phone and it can verify you are the owner of that account just basically use that method to use your phone. But let's say you don't have that. Let's hit try another way. And on here, it will walk you through some other options. It says you can get a verification code from the Google Authenticator app if you have that installed onto your device. Keep in mind, if you do, then it's easy to log in. If you don't, then you need to move on to the next step. Now it says get a verification code texted to you, but again, you don't have that phone number. So we're gonna choose try another way to sign in. And now it gives you the option, you can get a verification code at the email address that you just entered, but you don't have access to that email, so that doesn't really help you. A secondary option is they will email a code to a recovery email address. So if you set up a recovery email address, maybe it's your other Gmail or your spouse or your friend or significant other or family member's Gmail account, they can email them a code that you can use to reset and log into your account. And then you, if you don't have any of that, you can hit try another way to sign in. Basically just keep going through this process. At this point, essentially it says, I didn't provide Google enough information that I am the account old owner. So essentially there are some options to be able to log in without access to the phone number that's associated with your Gmail account. However, you'll need a recovery email that is already linked on there that you can access to get the code. You'll need a Google Authenticator app that is already on there that you can use. You need another device that is already logged into that Gmail that you can just go open up and confirm that, hey, yeah, I have access to this account and I own it and it's already logged in on this other device. So it gives you a few different options there. But again, those are really your only options. If you get to this screen and you have no other ability to be able to log in, then unfortunately, you just need to keep working at it and go to more tips to recover your account and keep trying at it and get access to some of those different things. Maybe get access to that old phone number. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions.